Yo, it's Herman here with Adobe and Epidemic Sound, and in this video, I'm gonna share five ways to make your video cinematic in post-production. Now, when I first started filmmaking and video editing, it was a big challenge for me to make my work look more polished. It was especially tough getting the cinematic look from a low-budget camera. Thankfully, keeping these five tips in mind have helped me bring my work to the next level, and I hope that they'll help you too, so. Let's get into it. The first way to make your edit cinematic is to find the right music track. Now, music is often overlooked, especially because we're getting used to watching videos without sound on social media, but it's vital for conveying the mood to your viewers. Spending the time to find the right soundtrack is crucial to either making or breaking your video. For example, choosing a corporate electronic track might not fit so well for an epic landscape shot. That's because the tone and the atmosphere clash together and they don't tell a cohesive story. Now, instead of sifting through thousands of songs from royalty-free music sites, you can find your perfect song without ever leaving Premiere Pro. Adobe Stock Audio is integrated right inside the program and gives you access to many music libraries. All you have to do is open the Essential Sound panel by going to Window and then clicking Essential Sound. Going to the Browse tab lets you instantly start looking for music. What's amazing is that you can narrow down what you need by applying filters such as filtering for mood or genre. Because music plays such an important role in creating the right mood, it's important to think about what kind of atmosphere you want to create for your viewer before you start applying filters. What kind of story are you trying to tell? And what kind of music track will bring us there? In this case, I want to look through Epidemic Sounds Library because I'm a big fan of their amazing music selection. So let's click that under Filters. You can preview the song right away with Timeline Sync to see how it feels in your sequence. That means you can watch it back with all your dialogue and sound effects along with the music that you're testing out. The best part is that there's no annoying watermark over the music track while you're previewing. Like I said, you never have to leave Premiere, so you can even buy the track right away by clicking the shopping cart icon and using your Adobe stock credits. Now you might notice that most cinematic shots have buttery smooth camera movements. Although different camera movements convey different emotions, you can easily apply one effect in Premiere if you find your shots feeling a little bit too shaky. Let's use this shot for example, a handheld shot that follows the dog and it's clearly very, very jittery. Can you imagine watching this on a movie theater screen? I'd think there was an earthquake. So let's go to the effects panel and look up something called Warp Stabilizer. Drag and drop this effect over to the clip for the effect to start analyzing. You can change the smoothness to something like 2% since I find the default 50% a little bit too much. And just like that, you've got much smoother camera movement that isn't jarring for your viewers to watch. Something you would expect from a cinematic video. Stock footage is a great way to introduce cinematic shots into your edit if you don't have access to certain things like a high-speed camera or a drone. Fortunately, Adobe Stock has one of the largest libraries of stock footage and an unmatched filtering feature to help narrow down and find exactly what you need. All I have to do is type in some keywords into the search bar and if I'm looking for something specific, I can click the view panel button to open up some filter options. You can sort by shot size, shot angle, and even whether you want people in it or not. Let's say I want to filter close-up shots because my edit is missing an epic slow-mo shot for my baseball edit. Now what if I like one of the shots because it has the right vibe but it isn't exactly hitting the nail on the head? That's where the find similar button comes in to play. Check this out. When you click on that, you'll find more results similar to that clip. It's like witchcraft. But one of my favorite features is being able to bring this right into your edit to preview without manually importing it in. Let's say I want to try this clip out without buying it yet or using my Adobe stock credits. I just have to click the open in app button, choose my program, and if my project is already open, the stock footage will be downloaded so that it can use it right away. Now I can really see how cinematic my edit is with this epic slow-mo shot. If you're happy with it, it's as easy as hitting the shopping cart icon next to the file to purchase it. Using different aspect ratios can convey different feelings. The classic cinematic look that you see is usually a 2.35 by 1 ratio and introduces black bars on the top and bottom of the screen. This is called letterboxing. You can play with different ratios and use a chart to convert to the resolution that you desire. You would usually want to decide on the aspect ratio before shooting, but letterboxing can be an easy way to make your videos look instantly cinematic. The way I like to do it is by changing the resolution by going into my sequence settings and then editing it there. I can export it at this resolution or place it into a new sequence that is at a 16 by 9 ratio so that the black bars appear. The only thing to keep in mind is that if you export with the black bars at a 16 by 9 ratio, it may look a little bit weird on wider monitors. Color grading is one of my favorite ways of getting a cinematic look. Luckily, Premiere Pro makes it incredibly easy to mimic your favorite films. Let's say you want your footage to look like it belongs in a sci-fi film. All you have to do is find a clip or a still image to place into your sequence to act as a reference frame. Then, shift your workspace 
over to Color to bring up the Lumetri Color panel on the right. With the footage selected, go to Color Wheels and Match and click the Comparison button on the right. This will bring up a reference frame for you to try and copy with your footage. Just move the playhead in the reference frame to what you want to match. In this case, a still from a sci-fi video I made before. All you have to do is click one button for Lumetri to do the bulk work, and that's the Apply Match button. Just like that, our footage already has a gritty futuristic vibe. Some fine adjustments might be needed, but that is how quick it is to get your cinematic look. There you have it everyone, five ways to make your videos cinematic. Thank you all for watching and I hope that you took something away from this tutorial. If you're looking for more tips and tricks, make sure to check out the other episodes of our social edit series. Until next time, have fun creating.